I'm uh, the owner of Machination Studio. I'm a creator for mechanized scale models. This is a term I, I, I call for it. it uh, it's, uh, it's using a little bit of electronics, a very, very small amount of technology to, to bring skill models which are usually very static to, to life with a little tiny bits of movement of guns or a little bit of walking and stuff like that. So that's, that's what I do. Almost straight from the start because uh, I'll start with uh, a lot of 3D modeling. Uh, so that's done on the computer. And, and when the 3D models are done, I will, I will 3D print them. Usually early prototypes will be done with FDM printers. Uh, and uh, later, pro um, final prints will be done with uh, SLA printers. I incorporate the uh, technology into my, in my toys. Uh, there is some electronics, uh, there is some microcontrollers, so I use the Arduino uh, microcontroller for my, for my toys. Even letting people know that I, I exist, I, I use a lot of social media, I use uh, uh, a lot of technology like that to, to help me. A lot of the 3D modeling is, 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 is software-based. Um, I, I, I do modeling that is uh, hard surfaces, so like, like the vehicles and tanks and stuff like that there. And, and also soft uh, surfaces like uh, the character, human, human character. So, so it, multiple types of 3D modeling that, that is being used to, to, to get into that. I'm currently working on uh, uh, a, a, new, a new model. Um, this is the M1A1 Light Walker. Yes, yeah, the one in the back here. You know, it's, it's probably a third product that I've been working on since, uh, since, I, since I started this. I'm kind of using a slightly different approach uh, because of, of uh, some market conditions and stuff like that. Uh, this will be slightly less technology and slightly more scale model. Uh, so people have to have to put it together. I realize a lot of my fans like to put their stuff together themselves and, and to paint it up themselves. I just uh, have all the elect electrical parts fully uh, ready for them, so they don't have to do soldering or anything like that. And I think that is uh, kind of where my customer base is. Um, they don't mind a bit of assembly and, and, and painting up. But, um, maybe not all of them are equipped to deal with the elect electrical parts of things. So so it's just simple. AAA batteries and, and, and they work. That's kind of my new approach, and uh, hopefully I can I can I can do multiples of them. You know, even within this year. I mean, obviously the the one that I'll be most proud of is the is the is the the one that you know made made me kind of uh, known in this in this space, which is which is the uh, the HMS Bordeker, which I, I which I made um, now I guess about four years ago, and uh, got me to the opportunity to speak at TED and meet all the wonderful people and, and all the opportunities that, that that came along with that. It was very much driven by a, a childhood. Desire, I guess you know, as 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 a creator, a lot of times I'm you know dissatisfied with things, right? In the sense that oh, I wish this had this, and I wish that had that, and so accumulating a, a, a whole childhood of of oh, wouldn't it be nice to have this and that, you know? And, and finally, with the technology, with with my skills, you know, improving and stuff like that, I I can actually turn this into reality and 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 have a toy that has all the features that I wish I had when I was a child. Yeah, so that was that was a, 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 a bit of a driving force and I think it helped with you know conditions change like uh, technologies like so, um, crowdfunding and, and stuff like that allowed me to actually bring that to, to life. Right from the start I actually got into toy making by accident. I'm advertising trained, I'm graphic design trained uh, one of my friends, this was, this was a long time ago, this was like 2001, uh, started a toy company. And I was helping him at that point, uh, at the start I was helping him with um, digital um, promotion. The digital marketing was banner ads, you know, flashing GIF banner ads. And, 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 and what, what I was um, helping them with was to create an online gallery for people to paint up their toys and, and, and to put it online and users can vote on it. So this was like way even before social media, there was voting on the toys and the designs that, that the users were creating. And, and to kind of uh, jumpstart that whole process, I ended up getting a lot of the toy prototypes and I painted them up with you know characters like Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and Star Wars characters to post, to post up the, the site, to kind of uh, uh, fill up the site so that people get an idea of how that site is meant to be used. By accident, you know, when the company got a, a little bit more uh, uh, bigger and they got a distribution deal, I became the person who is most familiar with the toys because I spent so much time 
uh, working on and playing with the toys. Uh, that uh, I, I, I signed up to be the, the the head designer for the company. So so that was a uh, that was that was kind of like an accident. Um, but um, I think I think uh, you know having having all these uh, different hobbies in in my life actually helped me you know to 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 get all these opportunities that I can that I can jump into. I think the current toy industry is 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 very much um, license driven, right? You you see a lot of Star Wars toys, you see a lot of uh, Marvel, uh, Iron Man, you see Iron Man toys all over the place, and 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 that's been going on for the last you know five six years since the since the movies got uh, very very famous, and and that is a very big part of the popular uh, 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 toy you know market, the mass market. I think another market that has been growing and has been growing every year is. Uh, what is called designer toys or art toys and a lot of it is centered around conventions and these conventions are largely attended by creative types right i mean it is it is it's creative types that are interested in art and designer toys and and the designer themselves who, who show up you know it's, this is not big corporations these are people with day jobs you know in the evenings and the weekends they'll they'll make their own toys and once a year or twice a year they'll bring it to a convention and show it off. Um, artists, illustrators, they'll, they'll come into these conventions. So it's, it's like a little tiny club and, 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 and part of the, the, the entrance fee is to create your own toys, right? So, so, so I'm, 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 I, I find that this, this little community is very interesting. And, you know, it, it's people who are all creators, they're all working their hands as well as, you know, they have day jobs in, in Hollywood or whatever, you know, in, in special effects, but um, they're using those skill sets as well in, 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 in this fun thing that they do. I can't wait to um, check out Campus Party in Singapore. I, I, I've read and see, seen the, uh, the websites, it's so exciting. For a creator like me, you know, and I'm very new to this. I, 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 although I do 3D modeling, I do, I do electronics and stuff like that, I'm, I'm such a novice at it. To be able to see people who are experts and, and meet them and, and, and get their help, hopefully, um, it would be, be really great. And, and to share this, uh, this whole um, idea of work, both working with the computer and working with my hands, I uh, hope that uh, this is something, this is an experience that uh, I can all enjoy.